In this video, we will graph the given log function by hand, as well as give the domain, range, and the equation of the vertical asymptote. Remember for the basic log function in the form y equals log base b of x, x has to be greater than zero, which is why the domain is the open interval from zero to infinity. But for our function, notice how we have log base two of x minus three. So for this log function, x minus three must be greater than zero. So if we solve this for x, we add three to both sides, and we can see x has to be greater than three, which is the domain of the given log function, which using interval notation is the open interval from three to infinity. And now to find the vertical asymptote, we have to set x minus three equal to zero. If we set x minus three equal to zero and solve, we get x equals three, which is the equation of the vertical asymptote. And then for the basic log function, the range, is all real numbers, or the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. So if the output of this log function is all real numbers, and then we add two, the output or range for this function is also all real numbers, which means the range is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity. And now to graph this by hand, we will first isolate the log, and then write the log equation as an exponential equation, and then use the exponential equation to complete the table. So notice to isolate the logarithm, we need to subtract two on both sides, which gives us y minus two equals log base two of x minus three. And now I'll write the log equation as an exponential equation. The equivalent exponential equation is two raised to the power of y minus two must equal x minus three. So again, the exponential equation is two raised to the power of y minus two equals x minus three. Let's go ahead and solve this equation for x by adding three to both sides, which gives us two raised to the power of y minus two plus three is equal to x. And now to complete the table, instead of selecting x and determining y, we will select y and determine x because y is in the position of the exponent. Notice how the exponent is y minus two. So if we let y equal two, notice we'd have x equals two raised to the power of two minus two, which is two to the zero. Two to the zero is equal to one, one plus three is four. And now let's let y equal three. If y is three, x is equal to two raised to the power of three minus two, which gives us two to the first or two, and then plus three is equal to five. And now let's try y equals four. If y is equal to four, x is equal to two, raised to the power of four minus two, which gives us two squared. Two squared is four, and then plus three gives us seven. Now looking at the coordinate plane, notice how x only goes out to eight. So if we select y equals five, the x value is going to be larger than eight. So let's stop here and see if we have enough points to make a nice graph. Let's first sketch the vertical asymptote, which is x equals three, which is this vertical line here. And now let's sketch these three points. We have four comma two, we have five comma three, and we have seven comma four. So we probably do have enough points to make a nice graph, but let's try letting y equals zero to find the horizontal intercept and see if we can determine the approximate value of x. So if we set y equal to zero, then x is equal to two raised to the power of negative two plus three. So again, x is equal to two raised to the power of negative two plus three. Two raised to the power of negative two is equal to one fourth. So one fourth plus three would be 3.25. So let's also use this point to graph the function. So 3.25 comma zero would be approximately here. And now we know the graph passes through these four points and approaches the vertical asymptote, and therefore the graph looks something like this. I hope you found this helpful.